This is Abe. Abe is an Australian bogong moth. In the spring, Abe and billions of his moth friends escape hot conditions by migrating southeast up to about 1,000 kilometers to a place that they have never previously visited. Their destination? A small cluster of cool caves in the Australian Alps where they lay dormant over the summer. At the beginning of autumn, the group makes a return migration to the breeding grounds to reproduce and die. This migration is so epic that there is both a town and a mountain in Southeast Australia named after these moths. How does Abe, who is about an inch in length, know where to go? A remarkable paper published in Nature reveals that Australian moths can see and decipher the night sky. Abe's compass, it turns out, is the night sky itself. Astronomers come in all shapes and sizes, even invertebrates. This sounds interesting, but how do you even figure this out? Reaching this conclusion required researchers to do something you probably don't want to think too closely about. They attached the moths to tiny little tethers. Moths could lift off and pick a direction, but not escape. The experiment unfolded inside a special moth planetarium. Star patterns were projected onto an overhead screen, while the ambient magnetic field was nulled by Hemholtz coils, guaranteeing that the participants could not cheat using magnetic navigation. When the spring sky was projected, most of the moths aligned and took flight in the southeast direction, as they would in their migration towards the Australian Alps. I tried reproducing the essence of the data collected by the researchers and rendered it into an animation. Each arrow indicates the direction a moth chooses when they are shown the night sky, and the red arrow shows the overall average direction taken by the group. The researchers in the paper used something called circular statistics, basically the math equivalent of finding the average on a circle. There are fascinating connections with the one misses probability distribution on a circle. It's amazing how math and biology play well together. Next, when the autumn sky was offered, they took the cue and headed northwest in the direction of their breeding ground. And finally, when a randomized arrangement of stars was shown, the moths lost sense of direction and became disoriented. How fascinating is that? To dig deeper, the researchers recorded activity from visual neurons in the moths' brains as the projected night sky rotated overhead. Neurons fired most strongly when the stars aligned with the moths' inherited migratory heading. Some neurons were tuned to the brightest region of the Milky Way, especially near the Carina Nebula, suggesting that this band of starlight is a visual landmark. All this sounds good when the sky is clear. But what happens to our friend Abe on cloudy nights? Turns out, bogong moths remain oriented even when the stars were hidden. On overcast nights, they rely on the Earth's magnetic field instead, revealing a dual compass system similar to that of migratory birds. When both stellar and magnetic cues were removed, the moths became disoriented again. It isn't only us humans who are guided by the stars. In the last few years, scientists have discovered that even migratory songbirds, possibly even seals, dung beetles, and cricket frogs take their cues from the steady heavens above. And now we can add the bogong moth to the list as well. So. The next time you are out under the shimmering Milky Way, take a second to cherish everything that it offers us. Beyond being a navigational beacon, it offers us inspiration and a glimpse into how it connects us all. The universe is, after all, everyone's map. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.